Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to be bringing you this video today, a live interview with George and Wesley Bryan down in Bermuda ahead of George's PGA Tour debut. We chat all about the tournament, we chat a little YouTube golf. This is just really cool. I want to represent the community with this channel and I wanted to bring this to you because two of our own are representing on the biggest stage. So I can't wait for you guys to see this content. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Over 60% of you guys watching aren't subscribed. Double check because if you are subscribed by Friday, you're going to be entered to win a good, good polo or hat of your and or and hat of your choosing a polo and hat combination. You're going to be able to pick whatever you want from the site. So hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. Let's get into it. I got a little intro I wrote up. You ready for this? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we are joined by one of the best players in YouTube, elite driver of the golf ball, one of the best ball strikers to ever walk this planet, short game artist, putting expert, and PGA Tour player, the pride of the YouTube golfing community, and his brother Wesley. Welcome to the channel, boys. How you guys doing? Gosh, that was... How long, how long did you spend writing that? <laughs> that took me three seconds. That was just right off the dome. I actually wrote it too. Usually I don't write anything. Everyone thinks I write for my videos. It's always just right off the top of the dome. So that one I actually wrote down because I was like, I want to nail this. All right. All right. I can take it. Yeah, I know you can. I know you can. You guys remind me a little bit of like, like, well, you, especially Wesley Canadians growing up, like it's just chirp fest 24 seven. Americans don't usually chirp too well, but you're pretty good. I appreciate it. Some, some days, some days better than others. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying to, to chirp a little bit less with my fingers in the comment section. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm maturing, but this week the fingers got hot again. And, um, I mean, I, I, I'm sure there's probably people that I need to apologize to right now no. for saying a lot of mean things. I apologize to, but I mean, do you chirp a lot? Absolutely. <laughs> I can't believe you live in the comment section. And the beautiful ocean. Yeah, man. Boys, how uh, how's Bermuda? How you feeling? You guys jazzed up? You ready to go? I think this is like so cool from the community perspective. I sent Wesley a voice memo today. I'm like, I want to get you guys on as like I want like this is like Sports Center, man. Like that's what I want to be for this community. Like I want to like, be like like the YouTube Sports Center, and you guys are like repping for the community. It's so cool, a legitimate PGA Tour event. Your first one, George. Like you guys stoked to be there together. Like that's just got to be the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty insane, really. Like, you know, playing a PJ Tour event, but then also doing it, you know, with your brother is pretty cool. But then also, you know, filming it and doing it as a, you know, creator. That's what I am. Yeah. Um, it's not all that I am, but it's, you know, I create YouTube videos and I love that. And so being able to do it, it's like, instead of just filming Wesley, I get to film myself mm -hmm. and Wesley and put it on the internet and like document the whole thing. It really is like pretty wild. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. And I think just the fact that like, you're bringing everyone along. Like I just watched the Q school video that was out last night. Like it's just never been done before. It's never been documented in this way, in this form with so much attention too. Cause like your channel's obviously been blowing up this year. And so everyone's coming in and now see, and it's like a very unique value prop. Like it's your guys' thing now. Like you are the like, take you along the ride of pro golf channel, which I think is like so cool because nobody else is doing it. Yeah, it's, it's something It's different. It's like, you know, last two years, I've been doing the same thing, but wasn't playing as many. I played kind of the same amount of tournaments, but not not the quite the level that I would want to play. Mm -hmm. Like to to enter into Q school or to like even have a chance playing a PJ Tour event. And this year just kind of got different. The game got a lot better. You're the beast, you know. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, it started off. It was so hilarious the way it started. But then I'm telling, you, like from a from the playing perspective, I obviously play with the. I would say week in and week out, but that's not the right terminology anymore. Uh, sparingly, I play with the best players in the world, <laughs> occasionally. Um, and what I've seen out of Georgia's golf game throughout this year is wildly more impressive, like physically, mm -hmm. than what I watch people that are out here making millions of dollars playing the game for a living. And the guy hits 30 minutes of wedges a day, putts for like 15 minutes, goes, plays a few holes, maybe throws it up on a string. And that's like his day of practice. Yeah. Um, and it, it, but in all seriousness, though, the way he's striking the golf ball right now is like, it, it's getting the attention of people out here. that are like, wow, like that's for real, for real. Yeah. Yeah, man. It just like, I, and I'm not the, I don't cover pro golf for a reason. Like I'm still relatively new to golf in general. And so like, I don't, 
quite understand all the little nuances. But even me as like a schmuck, I can like hear the difference and see the difference. And like the way like your divots are just straight and the sound it makes even through YouTube is just different, you know? And then like for me to hear like Grant, like every time you guys have collabed with Grant, Grant like truly saying, he's like, this is different. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it is, well, it is wild. It. What? <laughs> That's because he clanks it. <laughs> Obviously, it's different. <laughs> he swings it pretty, though. Yeah, it does. It, it, it kind of goes like... Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What What is your plan for the tournament? Are you guys going to film it kind of the same way that you did the Q School stuff? Like, you're going to have every round kind of shot, uploaded, mm -hmm. click, click, click. That's crazy, yeah. man. How is that with the PGA Tour? Are they just letting you just, like, film the whole thing? Or is there, like, weird legality to it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> we're here. We're here. We're filming it. We're going to document it. We're going to bring some electric content all right. to our channel. All right. And that's just that's all we're going to say there. I love that. I love that. That's great. That's all we need to know. That's all the people need to know. They need to know that there's excitement coming, and that's definitely yeah, something the, that. The PJ tour is great. With like, they've been really good, and um, you know, it's, we're not doing anything illegal and outside the. Of, you know, our parameters. Wesley mm -hmm. is a PJ Tour player and they can post his platform. So like mm -hmm. Brian Rose is his platform. Um, so it's been really cool because, you know, anyone could do it out there, but they don't see the value. Or, I mean, you know, Justin Thomas doesn't need to create his own channel to elevate his brand. Um, and like, if people would... I, I, needed, I needed to create a channel to elevate my brand because <laughs> the brand that I was putting out on the golf course wasn't quite cutting it. So. You need to just make a few extra dollars, you know? AdSense covers the uh, missed cuts. It's great. Um, but it's cool that you know but also wesley in brand or no brand like he knows it's a cool like we have a cool story to tell and he wants people to come on the inside and on this journey with us whereas you know most most people out here just want to play the pj tour and do their own thing and go about their day where we want like we know we have some fun and he knows this is also my job mm -hmm. is to create content so he wants to be a, a good little brother help out um, but we do have a unique story and it's it's like he knows that he has fun with it and so it's like we want to show you guys the fun but also show you the grind the seriousness the the lows and the highs that is pro golf mm -hmm. uh, from this side i feel like i can get semi-dramatic sometimes about like protecting my mental space as a creator and being like i need to be focused on like what video i'm making today and like make the best video possible because you have to do that to survive how much are you thinking about your video right now versus like playing in your first PGA Tour event? Because I feel like those two things take up so much mental space that like, how are you balancing those? Well, I mean, you look at it, I'm right now going through all the video footage from today <laughs> and looking at it and just seeing like, oh, it's going to be cool. Um, but no, that's why I'm playing so well. It's like, I have this thing that I can push this, like push the seriousness of Frog off the side and just like, okay, let's this critical video right no, and, I think I, and i'll answer part of that question for you the big thing is when we brought carney on board pretty much full-time mm -hmm. um our camera guy and he's editing right now for the alternate channel he has by him taking the camera and take, taking the the bulk of that off of george's shoulder has allowed him to film like actually carry the camera less when he's out playing golf right yeah. and so um I think by having a full time help uh, on the the production side, I think is the reason. Like mm -hmm. we just know that this week the content is in good hands. George just goes out and plays golf, right. um, and we got Carney here to take care. He, we know he's going to get all the shots that need to be gotten, and um, it's going to be done well. So, right, I think that's probably the, the biggest thing. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, I'm going to pretend to be professional here for a second. What do you guys think about the golf course? You've seen it. You, you've played down there. You guys had your week in Bermuda. George, especially, like, is this, is it setting up well for you? Do you like it? Are you feeling, like, good about the course overall going in? Yeah, heck yeah. It's a, it's a good course for me. Um, honestly, a lot of, I mean, it's a, it's a fun, unique, quirky, just fun golf course here mm -hmm. on an island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, but it, you know, the hard hole set up well for my to my eye. Now, again, when the, when the wind blows, doesn't matter like it's gonna be hard mm -hmm. uh, but everyone all of them just look like the driver holes all fit my eye well like they look good um and, uh, yeah so i mean it's like the grass is very like it's all bermuda grass which i'm very comfortable on um so like stylistically like it's something that i've seen and grown up playing which is a massive help um 
but yeah, it's it's fun. It uh, it's definitely like I said, challenging in spots. But yeah, it's it's a good. It fits my well. My first time I saw, I was like, sick. Like, I think I can play pretty well here. Right. Yeah, and I think just course setup wise, George being at Aiken Golf Club, like these greens, they're pretty undulating. They're obviously not the fastest greens in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, they're fairly soft. Like I, I feel like him going to somewhere like Memorial that would be firm and fast and competing on that style golf course versus yeah. something that's a little bit closer to what he plays day in mm-hmm. and day out, I think will be extremely beneficial. Right. That's awesome. What's What's been like the week so far leading up to it? Has it been what you expected, George, or has it been like a little bit like, I don't want to say like starstruck because I don't mean by individuals, but just like the treatment you get as a player. Has it been like what you've expected because you've seen Wesley go through it or is it like, I don't know. I just picture like walking up to the range and just being like, yeah, pick your Pro V1 or TP5X range balls. Like, here you go. Like those yeah. just little nuanced things that just must be like so cool, you know? Yeah, it's definitely cool hitting your brand new Callaways uh, on the range. Oh yeah, Callaway, sorry. Um, <laughs> but other than that, like honestly, I've kind of been, I mean, I've seen a lot of old friends that play and so it's like weird like competing against them again. Um, it was, I got like a little like nervous playing a frat round with someone, uh, Fred Biondi. Okay. I mean, 22 year old kid from Florida, but I'm like crazy and judge me if I had a bad shot. Like, <laughs> like, 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 what is that? Like, but those little things are real. Like, you know, Adam Scott's playing this event. Like what if we're playing Saturday together? Yep. And I'm like, shoot, what if I, I don't want to hit a bad one in front of him. Yeah. Um, but no, those are like little things, but other than that, like it's, it's pretty it's just me playing a tournament again uh, but it will getting used to like competing against like very high level players but right again, i'm started doing that again that's where it's gonna be like okay just don't worry about that player game you're playing great and you're gonna be fine yeah who are you playing with uh, i'm playing with um trevor Cohn and peter quest kest <laughs> you got two absolute ball strikers <laughs> by the way yeah so it'll be Trevor, Trevor Cohn, when he hits the ball, speaking of noises, sound different. <laughs> His sound's different. Yeah. Nice. That's exciting. So, do you ever, yeah, so, I'm sure a lot of the guys out there know like who you guys are and what you do in the YouTube side of it, but I'm sure there's also a lot of guys on tour that probably don't pay attention and have no idea. No idea. Is it, yeah. is it weird to like step into a group, whether it be at Q school or this week at the PJ tour and be like, Hey guys, like I just have this camera behind me and they're like, who are you? Why? Like, is that ever weird to go through? Because I feel that sometimes it's just like when I film with like a random force film at like a local course. Yeah, I'm sure it's definitely it's like, what is, like, who's this guy? Like, why do they have a camera guy following him? I'm like, yeah, sorry, we filmed today. Um, it's definitely, I mean, most people know who we are by now, especially mm-hmm. on the tour, but like, you know, many tour events or qualifiers where they don't, you know, not on social media to like, hey man, like, what do you do? Like, yeah, do you play or like, what's your story? I'm like, yeah. I'm, Kind of. film, film us, I kind of play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you think? Do you think being so used to the pressure of playing on camera and like whatever does that help at all with the pressure of like competing in your first PGA Tour event mentally, or is it like no transfer really? I mean, definitely. Like you, you like we know we're gonna hundred thousand people watch some of these videos, and that's like half a million on fun. the YouTube Championships, boys. Congrats, you guys yeah. are tracking real well with that one. And so, like, you don't want to like. Blue, like you know you're gonna get eyeballs yeah and so like there is real pressure like i want to perform i want to beat people on camera and like and so there's a lot of tournament nerves in there now it's not one-to-one it's not exact but you still feel it mm-hmm. i do um but no it'll be first tee tomorrow it's gonna be nerves probably like a nerve felt but at the same time i played q school last week and i was very nervous on every shot and it'll be i think it'll be like that on the first hole but after that it won't be nearly as bad mm-hmm. um I think, I think this this week's just going to be all about having fun. And there's, I mean, I've got no, like, what's the word I'm looking for? No, um, all I think about is no regrets. Mm -hmm. Um, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? No, uh, worries, no expectations. No worry, no cry. (laughs) Um, these are all great platitudes. I love it. They're, you know, just all the things you see written on bathroom walls. That's what you're trying to achieve this weekend. (laughs) Or if I miss the cut, like there's, it doesn't matter. No, like, yeah. you, like it does, but at the same time, it's like have fun and whatever happens, happens, and compete and move along. Right. If you had to say which one is like your favorite, competing or making YouTube videos, is there or is it like they both kind of blend because, off each other? Like I love competing, but at the same time, I was mid- midway through. 
fourth round last week. I'm like, golly, why did I sign up for this? Like, shooting YouTube videos was way less stressful. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, in, but there's also times, like, when we were here shooting YouTube videos and we had that big collab going on, like, that is way more fun and energetic. And instead of, like, you kind of go to the golf course and you know, like, you're about to film a video that you don't necessarily want to do, mm-hmm. uh, there might be a certain... I don't know, a person that George films with occasionally that he hates spending time with. And so he might not be super excited about it and then be like, well, well we don't, I got to film it all myself. And then I, the weather's not awesome. I don't know. There's, but then there's times like, and here a couple of weeks ago, dude, we were, it was so much fun. You just can't, I think that was more fun for me than playing in the Sanderson championship or whatever the last year right, right. was that I played in you can probably be like a bit more yourself too right like you can be fully yourself you can have as much fun as you want you don't have to worry about all the weird like i don't know i've played in i've played in one sort of tournament in my life and like the amount of things i got in trouble for doing of like the etiquette of golf because i just didn't know it's like sometimes that can probably be just like annoying at times too yeah i mean me in full form is pretty annoying at times uh I would agree believe it or not yeah i mean the editing process Makes me look so much better than, than the shenanigans that app actually goes on. Um, so yeah, I can't be like that uh, in in competition. Yeah, you gotta rein it in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, but there's still times. I'm sure there's plenty of little mannerisms that I have on the golf course that drive the people crazy. You you, play with. you get an incredible I, amount. I don't care. Yeah. I wish I did. Yeah. But I just don't. No, dude. I mean, you get an incredible amount of airtime from the PGA Tour's Instagram. And I think it's like a lot of that is to do with your, like, taking your clothes off and hitting shots in the mud. I saw that one the other day and, like, <laughs> making, like, the wildest, like, powers from crazy places. Like, I, yeah. it adds to the brand. It's, so, it's like the weird stuff follows me around on the PGA Tour, just like, it's the same thing with good, good. Like, dude, how many hole in ones are there on par fours and par three? And, and it's like they all, it's like the weird crap just happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just follows people around. And for me out here, I, my ball just ends up in weird places. Yeah. And I, you can't explain it. It's just, it's scoff and it's odd. Yep, I agree. All right, well, I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. I appreciate you coming on. Let's just end quickly on the YouTube golf side. What do you guys think about the space it's been growing like nuts you guys have been growing like nuts like got any like future plans little teases or just like in general like thoughts on how the space is growing like i firmly believe as soon as we start getting like regular like youtube tour events with like money on the line like those things are going to be streaming bigger numbers than live like do you do you guys what do you guys think about the future of youtube golf it's only growing i mean people are watching it it's getting more and more competitive more and more fun like people wanting to compete against other people like the youtube championship stuff we got going on like making these tournaments like within what we do and like it's it brings out you know the fun but also brings out the competition side of golf and so that's that's cool and honestly enjoyable to shoot and consume from my end um but i mean nothing crazy just the same old stuff like me and wesley filming videos um collaborating with people uh, grant micah and the bus jack crew have been like last week was or two weeks ago was just so much fun mm-hmm. um so hopefully with them some more um other tour players me and wesley competing against uh but nothing like, we, we do we've got we've got two two v2s on the books with uh up-and-comers slash professional golfers that are going to be pretty compelling matchups um but as far as the spit to answer your questions the space and as a whole i think that the youtube golf side is like for the game of golf as a whole the youtube side is getting the younger more engaging audience so it's it feels like it's it's just stirring up a lot more fun in the game whereas on the broadcast side it's just a little bit more of an older more traditional stale type golf old country club feeling so um, I think that the space is growing, and I think as far as advertising dollars are concerned, I think that they're going to start going more on the content side. Um, uh, hopefully, I mean, for us, that'd be amazing. But uh, I think it's, yeah, it's fun. I enjoy it. I love it. And I appreciate you giving us some time to 
tell our story for this week because it's going to be pretty awesome. Thanks cool. Well, oh, geez, yeah, I appreciate you boys. It's it's a pleasure to watch. I'm super stoked, and I think you know my goal with this whole thing is always just to see this community grow as big as possible. And I think you guys leading the charge on this side of things, have a unique value prop that really can bring people in. I think it's super awesome. So keep doing what you're doing, boys. I'm stoked to watch this week and best of luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, boys.